What's up, YouTube Nation? We're back on the water, midday. Look at this day, it's beautiful. And this is a January day. This is crazy how warm it is. We've got Bluebird, we've got ample sunshine. It's crazy. We got the Hammer 10. Uh, you guys can check out the Hammer 10 and everything you're about to see on this episode at 3poundfishing.com. Um, and we're gonna put slabs in the boat. We're midday because the bite's been a little bit tougher in the morning and uh, we've adjusted and we've adjusted our baits. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So, you know, finding out these little things that make more fish go in the boat, it's a lot of fun. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Please do me a favor, subscribe and follow the channel and uh, share the video. That always helps, that always helps. But anyway, we're gonna hit our first spot here, put some fish in the boat and uh, here we go. Good fish, guys. First fish of the day. Great fish of the day. Bam! Right there, guys. Catching that on that jig right there, that's part of that combo pack. One sixteenth ounce, solid fish. Mmm, good fish here, guys. Great fish. Oh my gosh, look at that school, guys. That's just fantastic. This is a great fish. Solid fish. Again, on that same hair jig. I keep telling people, man, it doesn't always have to be a 132nd. Okay, I don't tell people that at all. I'm actually one of the guys that always says only a 132nd. But right now, that 116th is just crushing it we got a great school here isn't that fantastic that is a ton of fish guys and those are all good sized fish uh, rocking the 8616 here you guys can check that out at uh, ptg uh, cornfield fishing mounts right here check it out those guys have to treat, treat you good and let's not forget bait pop and the original fish one man. and they're always right there getting ready to get used so when we need it we put it on so anyway it's a beautiful day here January doesn't get any better. I mean, seriously, it doesn't get any better. Can't believe it. So let's catch them up. No. Now these fish are moving right here. And you know, sometimes it is tough to stop them, but you can, there's always that crazy crappie in there. And um, that's what we're looking for right now. We're gonna still cast to them. They're too conveniently, conveniently located and there's just too many of them, look at that. And so, and we've seen, you know, already several of them make turns and act pretty darn aggressively now they are moving so we definitely we we need that weight that's on there now but we're just looking if we see if we can't get it. one that's crazy some of them are trying to turn though here we go we're going to try to keep him with us no all right guys we're gonna all right guys we're gonna quickly change because i want to try out some of those other 1 16th ounce jigs out of the combo pack so we're gonna quickly go to the clown which has been an all-time favorite of mine this is the loop knot right here guys boom 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 it's not the easiest thing to do with braid or a hair jig for that matter but you can get it done Right there, we put that in the boat right there, and we're gonna go. All right. Oh my gosh, we got him. There it is, guys. Slab. Beautiful, right there. Bam. Great fish. All right, so great fish, no doubt about it. It does seem like, it definitely seems like the fish are. I mean, they ain't bite crazy, but uh, the 1 16th ounce head is working and I pretty much, they're all working about the same level. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna downsize to a 1 32nd and see if that changes anything up. Um, but we're just working these fish, finding, finding these schools, trolling around, that's all we're doing. And we run into them, some are active, some are not, but you definitely wanna find a school or something that the fish where they're still, they're not moving around. So 
that's what we're doing all right guys if you guys don't know i'm on tiktok a lot now and i just got done doing a tiktok video for sniping braid um sniping braid is what i've been using a lot lately some optimal some optimized kind of mixing it up a little bit but this stuff is awesome you get this in a 500 uh, yard spool this will fill up a ton of reels guys inexpensive too doesn't cost you an arm and a leg one thing they care about is the cost they have kept the cost down which i can appreciate all right so we've switched it up we're going to the all white 130 second trying to see if there's a big difference there all right silky smooth sniping braid baby and a 130 second ounce jig it worked that's what i'm talking about guys right there excellent fish we just caught ourselves to school look at this guys look at that we just fell into it right there boom got a fish we got a ton of fish around here good night We got a ton of fish. I don't know what else to tell you about that. There is just an absolute incredible amount of fish on this point. Look at this. Look at that. Sometimes you just have to drag it through with your crappie brakes going on backwards and Boom, there's one right there. Hammer 10, baby. Hammer 10. This is a toad. This is a good fish. Ooh, we like that. Man, that's great fishing right there. Beautiful. So guys. So, hammer 10 sniping braid doesn't appear it matters what hair jig you're using because we caught them on everything today but i can tell you the 10 footer hammer 10 best 10 footer on the market check it out at three poundfishing.com the matching reel is the 200 series reel right there it's on the website as well uh pair it up with that sniping braid and bam you can go put some fish in the boat beautiful january guys tournament start up in february um great day on the water beautiful day i'm gonna stay out here a little longer probably gonna go back on tiktok and do a live i'm on, i'm there on i'm on tiktok a lot um growing that channel and growing that shop so appreciate you guys have a great one